I'm going to show you how to use cloud function to uh, invoke uh, Airflow uh, DAC. So basically, uh, my architecture uh, going to be uh, whenever you upload a file to uh, Google Cloud Storage, it will invoke Airflow DAC. So I'm just going to delete the file that I already tried earlier. Uh, first of all, uh, go to Google Cloud, Cloud and uh, launch airflow from a cloud composer and then uh, you will uh, you know how to go to the uh, from here you can go to the web uh, interface uh, and then let's let me take you through the code first uh, don't worry guys i'm going to upload everything uh, to github and uh, this link will be available on the video description where you can download it uh, this is my simple deck uh, just reading through the file uh, and upload it to Google BigQuery uh, and this is the main uh, file uh, this is from Google Cloud uh, from documentation there here's where you put the, uh, the Google Composer you are uh, web UI web UI and this is the DAG name um, and this is the file uh, is related to the uh, triggering part uh, uh, don't worry guys you don't have to learn this part uh, you can uh, take this uh, from documentation or from uh, my uh, gitlab account github account so let's start uh, doing the work so first of all i'm going to show uh, this is my buckets which uh, uh, data going to get uploaded uploaded uh, nothing is going to be there now um and um, uh, in order to get this uh, uh, web uh, server link uh, what you can do is you can run a command like uh, this uh, uh, don't worry guys the command is there in the gitlab uh, you can take it from there or you can go uh, inside here and then go to environment configuration and then you will see a web UI uh, link as well uh, okay guys let's start uh, building the cloud function so the first things uh, we, uh, we need to build a cloud function so let me take you through that um, so just select the first generation and just give us a just your name uh, back, uh, trigger or something and then uh, trigger should be uh, cloud storage and then uh, you need to give create you can select uh, from deleting or whatever uh, this uh, scenario we are going to select as a uh, creating and then uh, you can give your bucket name so in this case I'm going to give my bucket name and select and then save it uh, you, you don't have to do any other changes here uh, these are memory size and things like that no no not required uh, in this exercise and then select uh, I'm going to select uh, Python 9 it work uh, till Python 7 to Python uh, 3.7 to 3.10 or the later versions and then uh, I'm going to take the each codes and uh, add them one by one so I'm going to create the main file and make sure guys uh, after adding the main file you copy paste uh, this part here so that uh, you will not uh, get any error so then I'm gonna give the all the requirements only to uh, request uh, libraries guys cloud authentication and this and I we need to add another file uh, that's file name is you can take it from the dot py as uh, this file name is from here because we are going to import that uh, particular part can you see that and the same name and then uh, uh, these uh, these two codes are from uh, Google uh, documentation, and I just insert that, and that's all, guy. Here we we just have to do this. Uh, 
and then you just have to click on the de uh, deploy button then you can uh, deploy this code so nothing else you there's a change and uh, you make sure that you upload your DAG uh, uh, in airflow um, in environment and go here and uh, this is the locations you have your DAG so make sure that uh, you insert your uh, DAG file This is your DAC file. Add it to here. Okay, guys. So uh, now I'm uh, not going to take the launch this uh, de deploy this function because I have already done that uh, to save some time. So this is the same function that I uh, created earlier, a uh, couple of minutes ago. Uh, let me show the codes. Okay, and then. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show the function execution. Before that, I'm going to show you there's not no data here. So if we go to buckets, nothing is there. Uh, can you see this is only one successful run? It's going to be two now when I upload the file. So so I'm going to upload a file. So it's successful get uploaded. Now you can see this uh, function get uh, ex excluded, uh, executed here uh, in in the function area. If you go to the uh, log, you will see a new log coming into play. Just got executed, and you will see a DAC get this is become two, two, and then if you go to the Google BigQuery. You will get the data. Uh, that's all, guys. Uh, here, uh, this is a simple function to execute uh, uh, whenever you upload a file to Google uh, Bucket uh, uh, Cloud Storage and execute uh, Dagger to uh, Dag to upload the uh, uh, file to Google BigQuery. Uh, don't forget, guys, just to delete all this Cloud Compose uh, Airflow because it's uh, going to cost you a lot of money. Thank you, guys.